Hey guys, this is Rachel Robinson with your WAD for April 17th, 2015. And today I just want to expand on a topic that Danielle Butler covered in awesome detail a few days ago. And that is the personal um, invitation versus the Facebook invitation. And specifically for events. And Danielle mentioned how she had received um, an invite via Facebook from a really good friend for some gathering and she completely ignored it, which is exactly what I do when I get Facebook invites. Um, never gave it a second thought until her friend picked up the phone and called her. And then she wound up going to this event and it was a great time and all that. And that's very relevant to a lot of what I see here in Advocare. And the personal relationship is the number one way we should build our businesses. Period. The end. That one is a non-negotiable. For a lot of aspects of Avocare, there's more than one way to skin a cat. This is not one of those. There is no substitute for building a personal relationship with someone. And I often hear from people that uh, maybe they were hesitant to become a distributor or they didn't really want to get started because they are not a salesperson. I don't want to be salesy. I don't want to. I don't want to send a sales pay. I, I just want to get a discount, and that's great. However. A lot of times people might think that because they don't want to be a salesperson rather than personally approaching someone in their warm market, friends, family, something like that, that they will passively shoot out unsolicited Facebook invitations or messages and whatnot because they don't want to be a salesperson. Now, I don't know about you, but there is nothing more salesperson-like to me than receiving an unsolicited Facebook group ad message invite whatever I, I sometimes get added to these groups without my permission and I think is this really how I you know I would want to do business absolutely not I don't want to do anything ever that would perceive me as trying to solicit someone I don't want people to confuse whether they are my friend or my prospect I want that line to always be clear and you should as well if you really don't want to be a salesperson, which I don't think most of us do, then have warm conversations with people. Get to know them. Find out how you can help, and you build that relationship. Try to help solve some of the problems they have rather than just to sell them products. And you will go a lot further in this business and in friend-making life in general if you'll put that relationship first. Because the answer may not always be yes or I want to come to this mixer today. You know, it may not be, but if they feel like that's the only reason you're talking to them, you may never hear from that person again. You know, they may never want anything to do with Advocare, but you have to be that bridge. In doing so, you may find that two, three years down the road, someone that told you no, you know, initially has decided that because you maintain that relationship and you're still friends and that line has never been blurred, that they want to come around. So, I would encourage you to go into Team Reynolds and find that post from Danielle. It, it's There's so much truth in it because she was able to put herself, you know, as an Advocare distributor in the shoes of the recipient to that invitation. And think about that before you, you know, make a massive Facebook blast or send evites or invite someone via text to your mixer. You know, how would I feel if someone did this to me? Would I show up? Think about that the next time and just focus on building the relationships. If you build the relationship solidly and well, everything else will follow. It, it always does. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. But build the relationship first and good things are going to happen for you. Thank you guys so much. I hope that you all have an awesome weekend.